Hey guys, this is Tim Chucker, the AI operator, and today it's going to be a little bit of a different video. I'm just going to go very raw. It's a 250k system that I used to run manually, and I'm going to show you my setup and what I've been up to with Cloud Code. I think it's mind blowing the things that you can achieve with Cloud Code. So I want to show you guys around. I'm using Warp. It's like a terminal. It's a little bit friendlier, and I'm going to launch Cloud Code on my main directory. Potentially don't do this. If you don't know what you're doing, choose a folder and do it inside the folder. I'm not going to go through on a terminal or how to install Cloud Code and all that, but I'm going to launch my Cloud Code. And I'm going to show you very quickly all the agents, workflows, systems, and tools that I have. Show me all my agents, workflows, commands, tools. Make me a comprehensive list of my whole Cloud Code system and how I run it. I'm going to take it to plan mode, shift tab tab. I'm on plan mode to get a plan on how it's going to scan everything about my cloud code. This is super raw. I haven't shown this to anyone yet. I'm recording this video because I've been watching a lot of great cloud code videos and how people use it. And I believe that my raw video showing you my system and how I got there, it's going to help you a ton. If you're not technical, it's fine because I'm not technical and it wasn't easy, but I got here in a couple months time. So Cloud Code creates a to-do list. It's going to search for Cloud Code configuration and agents. It's going to find MCP server configurations, identify available tools and integrations. It's going to document the workflows and commands and create comprehensive system overview. Here we go. All right, this is still on plan mode. It has created this plan, your complete Cloud Code system overview. The cloud CLI, where it lives, how I've installed it, my available agents, 90 in total. Wow. <laughs> AI and content creation agents. These are all agents for AI and content creation. These are all agents for development and DevOps. These are agents for research and analysis. These are agents for business and strategy. These are agents for design and UX. And these are some specialized tools, MCP server integrations. I use five of them. That's more than enough. Here's my system structure where I have my agents, I have my commands, I have some scripts. I have my configs, my docs, my guide creation system. Basically, I have a system to create AI guides. I have my projects, scripts, shell snapshots, to-dos, right? All the to-dos are saved. My training system, all my other workflows, right? So I have workflows, but these guide system and training system are quite impressive systems. I'm quite impressed with myself. I have my main cloud.md file, and then I have cloud.md files in certain folders in my computer according to what I do with them. Here are some of my available commands and aliases. So when we're launching a training program, I can click on these things, right? So this is train, it's dashboard for training program, understanding when I'm inside one of my clients, train cals to generate the Google Calendar events, train new, it's to launch a whole brand new comprehensive 12 week program, fully customized from a survey for clients, with weekly practice assignments, each session, resources, prompts, custom GPT instructions, a lot more, a lot more things is incredible. It's a 250K system that I used to run manually for the last 10 months, and now I can run it quite automated, you know, almost fully automated, which is incredible. And when I'm inside a client's folder, I can uh, do train status to understand where we're at to check the training status on which week we are, which are the assignments of that week. If anyone has submitted their practice, their assignments and so on, verify MCP service status is just to understand if my model context protocols are working. A few main scripts, uh, permission configurations. Here are my key features. It's 90 specialized agents, each with specific expertise, my MCP server integrations, my project management, my training system, my to-do management, my shell snapshots, my custom workflows, my guide creation system. Here are some ways to run my system. So I accepted that just so that it gives me that plan, which we saw already. This is really cool, but I'll show you a couple of other things then. So the whole system I've shown you on my computer with the terminal is also available in my GitHub. Yeah, it's not updated. Maybe we're missing two AI agents, as you've seen. So I have to make sure I got those two more AI agents. But I have my whole system also on my GitHub account, just in case I'd like to bring it back, right? I created another two agents since I've updated my GitHub. So that training system that I mentioned to you is also available here. And just to launch my training for my clients, I use about 14 Cloud Code agents. I have all these scripts, how to do it. 
So this is the repository structure that's missing one. It's difficult to keep things in sync sometimes. You have to be a little bit more careful about it. But how this system works, I started it with a new client. I give their survey and it creates this whole thing. It creates a program overview, a survey analysis. These are folders, by the way. So in inside each folder, I have loads of files. And yes, in the beginning, it did kind of hallucinate and had some little errors. But as I tweaked it, I realized that because of how I use the context windows of each agent, I have much better output now. Right. So here's my new context management. And so how I use context management is that each agent actually doesn't take any action. They're kind of researchers and they write into according to the customer, the name of the client in that folder, I create a dot context folder. It's an agent communication hub, the current context, the central context file, each agent research outputs, you know, according to that, the survey analysis, the curriculum design, the session plans, I keep all that in there. And then I also have a cloud.md file right here. And then the whole existence structure of the training program that you've seen. And I started to do this with a bunch of different systems and it's been going incredibly well. I think your cloud code systems are, you know, they're living systems. I give them some love. I'd like to show you how I do my newsletters now, my Airberry weekly newsletter. It's a whole cloud code system as well. Uh, some workflow system, the newsletter archive, the data files, and some examples that I've written before to help it really get the tone right and so on. Here's the structure. But what's really fun with this as well is let's get to our agents. So I use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven agents to do my newsletter. So I have a guide creator. So this is the guide section of my newsletter. If you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, make sure to subscribe to it. It'll be in the description below. It's weekly.arbrite.com. Please make sure it's free. It comes to your inbox and I share everything that I can. So. Each agent works on certain sections of my newsletter, and you can see that it has a format output, a quality check, best practices. It has the one way of doing exactly that. As you can see, each of my section has a purpose, has instructions, how to do it, and you know the best practices, and so on. So because I have agents that run each of the section of my newsletter, I'm able to get really good newsletters in minutes of time. It's still not fully automated because I don't want my newsletter to be fully automated. I don't want the AI to come up with its own content. What it does, it asks me about what I want to share this week on news, what I want to share as a guide, what I want to share as a tool. It asks me these questions. I answer these questions and the whole newsletter gets created. And we're able to get to this quality of a newsletter. This whole newsletter gets generated with cloud code. I have a bunch more systems like this in my cloud code from training to guide generation, to newsletter, to now podcast. And cloud code is not just for coding. I think it's very good at designing business processes and systems and running with them. If you like this type of more raw content where I show you my systems, comment below what you'd like to see, where you'd like me to dive deeper, and I'd be happy to do so. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, turn on your notifications, share, and see you in the next one. Thank you very much. This was Tim Checker, the AI operator.